Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna make a sugar beans curry which I'm gonna boil and which, which will not be braised. This recipe of boiled beans was requested by the viewer and this is the way we make it. I've got two cups of sugar beans of which I soaked overnight and I've got two liters of water that's already boiling. I'm going to increase my heat and I put in my sugar beans into the boiling water. This will come to a boil. I will be watching if it's half done, then I put all my other ingredients to boil together. And while this is getting boiled, I'm going to prepare my ingredients for the curry. I'm going to put my lid halfway through. So the water won't overboil and I leave this for about half an hour. Now that my beans is getting boiled, so I prepared my ingredients. My ingredients are I cut two large potatoes uh, into eight pieces and I have about a hundred gra gram of margarine, but you can adjust how rich you like your beans boiled beans. Yeah, I have two small tomatoes grated, one onions grated. Then I have two bay leaves, some fresh thyme, curry leaf. To taste I have a teaspoon of rough salt and a tablespoon of pure chili powder. And then for garnish I have some lovely Dania in the deep freeze that I'll use last. So now I'm ready to put in my ingredients into the beans. 40 minutes has passed and because I had the beans soaked overnight so it got boiled within the 14 minutes but this is how my beans it must be just boiled to the softness and not busting So to my beans, I'm going to add these ingredients, first the bay leaf, the curry leaf, thyme, salt to taste. I will allow this to steam for about a 5 minutes and then add in my rest of the ingredients. Five minutes has passed and the level of water has reduced. Firstly, I'm going to put in my potatoes. onions my tomatoes and I forgot to mention that I'm going to use three green chilies put in my green chilies I give this a mix Now I will add my teaspoon of pure chili powder and I'll allow this to boil till it comes to the color. Fifteen minutes has passed and you can see the beans and the potato 
took a nice color. So now I'm gonna put in my margarine for the beans and the potato. to cook into it. The moment the margarine seeps into the beans and the potato, I am ready to add on more water. It's been five minutes. I just waited to allow the margarine to seep into the curry. I've caught here a liter of boiling water I'm going to add in and I will wait till my potatoes get soft twenty minutes as fast as and you can see the potatoes are gone very soft That's gravy. If you feel you like your gravy a little thicker, you can bust in a potato. It will thicken the gravy. Now I'm ready to garnish with my dania and spring onions. Then I'll switch the stove off and I'm ready to serve. There you go, your lovely boiled beans, curry which wasn't braised and some nice lovely potatoes that bust in the curry. It goes very well with some fresh white butter bread and on the side we have some lovely nuts chutney to go together with our boiled beans curry. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.